But yet, great athletes on the floor in this one. Shouldn't be any shortage of some highlight reel type plays. Yeah, this game, nobody will make my segment under the rim. Smitty's under the rim. Everything will be <laughs> right. above the rim tonight. I'm excited. Now, here's Beverly. Here's Zubats. Lock at six. To the middle. Here's Leonard. The Clippers rebound. Here's Beverly. Bradley with some nice D. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Now here's Brad. Here's Davis. Hits the jump hook. What a polished move by one of the best bigs in the game. Anthony Davis is just showing off. Here's Morris. Zubats with it. Back to Morris. And he banks in the layup. And the powerful frame of Morris, difficult to knock him off his rhythm and there finishing through the contact. Now here's Jim. They grab their own miss. Banked in off the glass. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. A big key to the Clippers' recent surge, the development of Montrez Harrell. His activity and his ability to score have been infectious for this team, and he also can be very intimidating. Here's McGee, and again it's the Lakers. And here's Beverly, he brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Four-point game. Three-pointer. No good that time. And it's the Lakers the other way. And the Clippers getting Harrell in that Chris Paul deal turned out to be a decent trade for both teams. You're totally right. The Rockets already had Capella. Harrell was sort of a redundant in terms of skill set. And you can only have one rim runner on the floor before you began to compromise spacing. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here and just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up your strategy a little bit. You can't keep doing what you're doing and expect a different result. Now here's Rondo. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. That's in there. Davis with the assist. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. And it's Harrell missing. Woo, blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Here's Rondo. Three-pointer. And another three for the Lakers. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Green, no luck. The Lakers on offense. They're on a 14-2 run here. Pass to Ronda. Here's Davis. Makes it off the glass. Davis has got six. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks 
from in close. And the Clippers call time here. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Shamit missing. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Lakers. Outside Rondo. Over Harrell. Tries again. And it's sent back by Leonard. Strong instincts and positioning. Kawhi read that shot all the way. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Lakers on top. Leading by 14. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. Morris. And the bank shot is good. Morris has got the opening basket here in the second quarter for the Lakers. And I just love the skill set that Markeith Morris has, Greg, at that forward position. He really is a do-it-all type of forward for this team. Can step outside and shoot, but has no problem guarding anyone on the front line of the opposition. As to Howard. Now here's Caldwell Pope, guarded by Jackson. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Well, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. The developing field Reggie Jackson has for scoring inside, playing much more under control these days. Pass to Howard. Back to Rondo. Morris, left side. The three ball. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Rondo from outside? How about that? Williams in the post. And here's Jackson. Pass to Green. Shot clock at six. Here's Williams. Covered by Morris. And again, the turnover by the Clippers. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, Lou Williams won sixth man of the year for the third time last season. He joined Kevin McHale and Detlef Shrimp as the only players to win the award in consecutive seasons. And with the most career points ever scored off the bench, maybe they should just name this award after him. Kevin? <laughs> David, I'm all for it. Thank you so much. And boy, is he in good company. Has to call Will Pope. Now, Howard. He's guarded by Williams. Puts it up from seven. And Howard finishes it off. Well, lately we have seen star players changing teams more often. Shorter contracts. Player options. Smitty, is there any downside to any of them? You know, I think the downside is from a fan standpoint, you get invested in a player and he's moved in like two or three years. Um, I think it should be where if a player wants to sign a longer-term contract with the organization, that should be a rule in play. But right now, with these shorter contracts and player options, there's going to always be a lot of movement. And the Lakers check on two more. That's what the offense is designed to do. Get LeBron high-percentage looks. George with no one around. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. Off target from the wing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. 
and Jackson gets it to go. And we're seeing more of this from Jackson. Under heavy fire, attacking inside. Now here's LeBron. Pass to Morris. Here's Caruso. Over Jackson. And that one's good, Caruso. Five seconds left now here in the second. Williams from outside. So as we conclude the first half, so far... And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Lakers leading by 22. Greg, I'm just so impressed with the level of finesse and craftiness that Lou Williams always plays with. And Kevin, you don't stay a perennial six-man of the year candidate at Williams' age without having more than a few tricks up your sleeve. He, he's so good in tight spaces and can find a way to get a shot up where others just have to kick it out. Pass to George. That one's not going to go. James with some nice deep. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this usually. Outside, Davis. Over Morris. And Davis puts it in. Davis has got 10. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Back to LeBron. There's the three. Here's McGee. And he drops it in from the low post. And boy, he can see blood in the water attacking a somewhat helpless team right now. He's trying to help his team shut the door. They don't want to allow any comebacks. Pass to Davis. There's Green with the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. George with the ball. Shoots. And that one goes long. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. And it's LeBron missing. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Here's Zubats. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. The Clippers shooting their first free throws of the game. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. Well, if it's a Zubats, may not block a lot of shots, but uh, Smitty, he is still a solid defender. What Zubats does is a great job of challenging players at the rim and provides great help from the weak side. He does rack up a lot of defensive fouls, but hopefully that decreases with time. I love the continued development for Anthony Davis. The three-pointer, his ball handling. Last season, a career high in assists. And you were just talking about Davis's ball handling ability. It used to always be one dribble and up. Yeah, because he has so much length, and that's all he needed to score over the top. Now you see him handling it like a guard and going around people and also able to change speeds and read the defense better. Just five on the clock. James fires from way outside. Great D that time from Leonard. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Powerful board, complete player. That's why Leonard's getting paid max. So it's both teams making substitutions here. 
And a big summer for the Lakers, trading for Anthony Davis for a time. Greg, it even looked like they had a great shot at landing Kawhi Leonard. And he ends up choosing the Clippers, which gives rise to a compelling rivalry. The nexus of NBA basketball has shifted to the city of angels. Whichever team you root for, L.A. fans with a lot to celebrate. And the Clippers making a change here. Outside Rondo. Pass to Caruso. Lakers passing it around. Back to Kuzma. Over Leonard. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Yeah, and when you give Kuzma that shot, he is going to let it fly. He is so confident in his mid-range. Williams with the ball. He's guarded by Davis. Beverly. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Williams. Beverly's got his first bucket in this one. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Pass to Harrell. No good from 11 feet. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but overall. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Steve, we're seeing more and more teams turn to high-motion offenses with a lot of passing, a lot of movement. What makes those systems, do you think, successful in today's game? I think when you're in constant movement, especially with the rules where you can't grab and clutch and touch, it makes it hard for the defenders to keep guys in front of them. And it's hard to switch defensively when you have a team always in motion. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Right side, Davis. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. We love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. And the rejection by Harold. Second chance shot. It's good again in the next one. Seven for eight shooting night so far. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And the Clippers call time here. And last season, Montrezl absolutely came alive for the Clippers. He's always played with energy, but was more focused and made the most of his chances. You like to see him provide a little more on the glass, but make no mistake, he's a great finisher at the rim. Outside, George. Six on the shot clock. McGee with the block. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Caruso, no good. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. And he converts the layup. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. Pass to James. Here's McGee. It's hauled in by Zubats. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Shot from 12. That one doesn't go. And it's the Lakers the other way. The drive by James. Good work defensively by Morris. Pass to George. And it's George finishing it off. And I just love the aggressiveness from George. Just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. And here's McGee. And Zubats picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. 
And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Pass to Kuzma. Six to shoot. The jump hook. And deep McGee drops it in. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength Patterson, Patterson, for the Patterson. Lakers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, th there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Anthony Davis. High-level shock making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one is off. Well, Rodney Magruder has fought his way into the NBA as an outside shooting threat. Played at Kansas State, but bounced around overseas and in the G League after not getting drafted. But in his time in the NBA, he's shown he can knock down a three and is a decent option for outside scoring. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Connects from three-point range. And the Lakers lead by 21. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. And Bradley gets it to go. And you know they feel good giving their fans a show here while taking care of business. They're going to win by a nice margin. The effort was there all night. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game...